Welcome back, my delightfuls, to another Jujutsu Kaisen live reaction. If you're new to my channel, remember to subscribe to become part of the Light Bulb Army. I am so excited. We are finally back with Jujutsu Kaisen. Last week, we did not get a chapter, unfortunately, but it's good that Gege got some rest. So let's see what Gege is cooking this chapter. All right, so chapter 249, titled Inhuman Makio Shinjuku Showdown Part 21. Oh, you got Kenjaku. Okay, so we switched over back to Yuta and Kenjaku, and Kenjaku's head is literally on the floor. Like I said before many times that they have to make sure, Yuta has to make sure that Kenjaku is dead by actually piercing his brain, because we do know if you do not do that, Kenjaku will probably go to another body. My will shall be carried on. Wait, okay, who says that? Oh no, I think Kenjaku is the one saying that. Yeah, yeah, because the speech bubble is more near Kenjaku. Rika, I knew it. Kenjaku losing control is causing curse manipulation. Kenjaku losing control is causing curse manipulation. Okay. To go on a rampage. Okay, so a lot of curses is just acting on their own free will, I guess. And this is a really nice panel on page, uh, what page is this? Two. With a lot of curses, just all rushing Yuta at the same time and Yuta slaying them. Not all, well, he didn't slay all of them yet. Oh, they're rushing uh, Rika. Kogane, add a rule. Make it so Megumi Fujigoro has the authority to activate the merger of humankind by Tengen. Bro, these rules are so broken. Holy crap. Like, you. And that's, it's not, well, it is super broken because uh, Fujigoro was able to add that other rule. Actually, which? Rule 15. Megumi Fujigoro has the authority to activate the merger of humankind by Tengen. And I keep forgetting that the Cullen Games is technically still going on. It, like, it, it didn't stop. So that's interesting. Okay. Wait, who is Yuta holding on to right now? Okay, and then Kenjaku's just, his head is just flying right now. I need a backup plan. Sukuna has undergone the ritual of succession. Now, if I use the Cullen game as a basis for overriding the originator of the ritual for merging. Tengen. Oh, he has Tengen. Oh, okay, he's in possession of the unmerged Tengen. Okay. It's like in a womb and stuff. This is so creepy. Okay, he's flying off. Okay, he's, he sends the Omer's Tengen somewhere. Okay. It wasn't a thousand years worth of fun, but I'm glad I fooled around with that guy at the end. You guys are next. Okay, so he had fun uh, fighting him. I'm sure it'll be amusing. Wait, 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 let me see. No, they, Kenjaku ran away. I think Kenjaku ran away. And I'm looking. I thought he sent the Tengen away. Tengen away. I'm sure it'll be amusing. And then Yuto. Okay, Yuto went where Sukuna was. <clears throat> okay, so I'm guessing Kenjaku. It, yeah, still, still in the background. Well, just ahead. Okay, so we have Rika, Sukuna, and then y Yuta looking sad. Sukuna's reverse curse technique output is returning. It's only a matter of time before he can use his domain again. Even worse, he defeated Higuruma because I didn't stay. Should I have stayed and lent my full support to the plan involving the Executioner's Sword? Will Maki have been better suited for sneaking up on Kenjaku? No. Rika's strength would have been indispensable for reducing human fatalities if the out-of-control cursed spirit manipulation technique had caused cursed spirit discharge on a maximum scale in Shibuya. Okay. So yeah, he I guess he was the right person to face Kenjaku in that instance. Let's see. Okay, Sukuna grabs his sword. He's surrounding himself with minuscule cutting attacks like a chainsaw to seize the katana without touching the blade. Okay, so Yuta gets a punch in. Sukuna has four arms, by the way. He grabs the katana. 
he counters against Rika as well. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, so two on one, Rika versus Rika and Yuta versus uh Sukuna. This is an interesting battle because Yuta realizes that once Sukuna gets his domain, that's like that's it for him. Let's see. I've been making excuses. I wanted to defeat Kenjaku with my own hands. I created the situation. This is all my fault. So Domain expansion. Okay, Yuta is using his domain expansion. I don't think we ever seen Yuta's domain expansion, even due to Kaizen Zero. I, I don't believe he used domain his domain expansion. Authentic mutual love, and it's literally filled with a bunch of katanas all around. This is really awesome. I like this domain. Is he gonna use all the katanas at once? Or send it, send it flying towards Sukuna. If he sends it flying towards Sukuna, that would be cool to see. Hollow wicker basket. Okay, Sukuna surrounded himself. Okay. You to pick up one of the katanas. Then icebreaker. And we do know with the main expansion, uh, you do get a guaranteed hit. Unless the other person you're facing you also activates their domain expansion and their domain overpowers yours. Then icebreaker. But then there's also there's also a little counter to the domains expansions. I think uh the new Shadow Garden style thing is one of those as well. And then Sukuna is using like a defensive thing here. Then icebreaker. So I will finish everything with this domain. Okay, he used the katana and it literally shattered. Oh, I see. This is their second plan. Okay, so Sukuna's bleeding from his left eye. Thanks to Megumi Fujigoro's memory, I know that the possessed brat's curse technique is copied. They want to keep half my arms and mouth busy by making me keep using Hollow Wicker Basket. <clears throat> As a means of countering the can't miss attack, probably the angel's curse technique that comes with the domain, and to attack with unlimited curse technique copy, which appears to only activate within the domain. The domain. Then the boy will deliver a blow that captures the soul and tear Megumi Fujiguro's body from my body. How nice! Everyone has to. Work. It's kind of it's very scary how Sukuna figures things out so easily because it just makes it just makes the job of the protagonists like the good guys even harder because sukuna is now it's like sukuna is might not even be the final villain the merged tengen is probably going to be the final villain of the series by the pacing of things or let's say because so, once sukuna fully recovers can use his domain it's it's going to be a bloodbath basically so we'll see what happens this is a good chapter though I, I like the direction that Gege is definitely taking the story of the fight. And now Kenjaku is still alive, unfortunately. And yeah. I, I believe Kenjaku is still alive. Let me go back. Because it was his head that was flying off. Yeah, I believe so, yeah. Okay. Overall, I'll give this chapter an 8 out of 10.